Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel and thank you for checking out this video. For our tutorial today, we will share how to create a staircase in Revit for a multi-story building. But before we start, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more future tutorials. Thank you. On our 3D view, we have here a multi-level floors that was already created and we will show how we are going to add the stairs. On our project browser, you will see that we have our level 1 to level 14. So our floors are already added per level as you can see in 3D. For a simple tutorial, we will assume that we have a typical floor plate and we will need to have a stairs from level 1 to level 14. Let's start on the level 1 plan view. You will see that we have marked with a reference plane the location where we are going to add the stairs. By using a reference plane, we will draw the outline of the stairs. In this case, we will be creating a 2 meter wide stairs. Then let's add dimension on the reference plane. Then let's update the dimensions to specify our desired dimensions. Under the Architecture tab, on the Circulation panel, click on the Stair icon. On the Actual Run Width, we can specify the width that we want for the stairs. Then on the Properties palette, you can set Base Level, Base Offset, Top Level and Top Offset. But for now we will just leave it as is. On the Actual Tread Width, let's change it to 275mm. The Riser Height and the 24 number of risers, we just leave it as is also. On the location line, let's set it to left. Then on the plan, let's draw our stairs starting from the left side, the first 12 steps. Then on the right side for another 12 steps. Then select the Finish Edit Mode. Let's check out the stairs in 3D view. Let's go check it out also on the Section view. Next, we are going to add the shaft opening. Select Use the Rectangle tool and use the reference plane as the guide. On the Properties palette, let's change the top constraint to the highest floor level, which is level 14 in this case. Then the top offset we set to 1000 mm. Then finish edit mode. On the 3D view, we can see the opening for all the floors until the highest level. We can select the shaft opening that we have added and you will see that it is cutting all the floors. It can also be adjusted by using the push and pull button at the top and base of the shaft opening. 
On our section view, select the stairs, then on the ribbon click the select level icon. Then click the connect level icon, then select the level on the section. Then click finish edit mode. The stairs will be copied to the upper level. Let's check it out on the 3D view. If we select the stairs and click edit stairs, you will see that the upper stairs will disappear. Then it goes back after we finish edit mode. Let's edit the shaft opening and trace the stairs profile to make part of the floor as the landing. On the 3D view, let's turn on the section box. Then we can adjust the box to see more of the stairs. Let's go back to the section view, then select the stairs and select, connect, disconnect levels, above. Then select the connect levels, then select the levels and select finish edit mode. To select multiple levels, press shift on your keyboard, and you will notice that the plus sign will appear, then you can select all the levels you want to connect. Then select finish edit mode. Let's do that again, select, connect, disconnect levels. Then connect levels, press shift and select all the levels. Then select finish edit mode. Let's go to the 3D view, and check out the entire stairs. Let's change it to shaded mode. So if we want to edit the stairs, all those above will disappear. It works similar to a block in AutoCAD. For example you want to edit something on the stairs, let's say we adjust the first flight of stairs by moving it down. Then if we finish edit mode, then go to the 3D view. You will see that the rest of the stairs above are also adjusted. When selecting the stairs, you will notice that the connect disconnect levels is the only icon that is active, the edit stair is grayed out. To be able to edit stair, press tab on your keyboard until you are able to select the stairs and the edit stairs icon should be clickable. Let's adjust also the other flight. Then let's go back to the 3D view. We can play around with the section box. 
If we uncheck the section box, it resets the 3D view to show the entire model. Then if we check the section box, it shows outside the model, then we can push or pull to the desired view that we want. Section box is a useful tool in 3D view. In the event that you are working on a 3D presentation, you can set the 3D view that you want using the section box. And once you are happy with the view, you can turn off the section box on the visibility graphics. The section box can also be used when you want to create an exploded 3D view of your model. However, we won't be showing it for now and we will be saving it for another tutorial. We can also play around with our presentation, for example we make our floors transparent on the visibility graphics. You can explore the many functions of the visibility graphics like adding colors or adding materials to any elements in our model. We can also turn off the elements, for example let's uncheck the floor. These are just a few of the functions that you can do with your 3D view in the visibility graphics. You can explore the many functions to suit your presentation or design. But do let us know if you want us to do a tutorial regarding the visibility graphics, or just comment down below your suggestion of a topic that you want us to do a tutorial. Alright, that's it for now. I hope you have learned something from this tutorial and hope to see you again in the next one. Thank you for watching.